Okay, we are going to discuss now properties of continuous functions. We will try to figure out the theorems related to continuous functions by first developing intuition. Okay, so let us figure out whether we understand LUV and GLV properly or not. Number one. Number two, what should we call as maximum? Max, what should we call it? Minimum. Okay, can somebody tell me what is L U B? Resume. L U B. It is the lowest upper bound. So if 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 there is a set under consideration and if there if it is bounded above then you will have many upper bounds and amongst the set of all upper bounds the lowest is going to be lub so what is the speciality of lub that every element under the set is going to be smaller than or equal to lub and amongst the amongst the set of all upper bounds lub is going to be the smallest element Similar definition for GLB. What is the definition or understanding of maximum? It is the largest element in the set under consideration, value-wise, real number. Minimum, it is the smallest element in the set under consideration. Okay. So let me ask you a simple question now, and we are going to create different tables today. Set. You are supposed to write down LUB max GLB minimum. Okay, we are trying to develop our understanding. So if I write the set of real numbers closed interval two comma five, okay, will it have LUB? Will it have LUB? Yes. Will it have maximum? Yes. Will it have a minimum? Yes. Will it have GLB? Yes. LUB is five. Maximum is five. GLB is two. Minimum is okay. This is serial number one. Okay, so I write some more sets two. I have written all nine intervals. Now you complete this table, and it is absolutely simple. Each one of you should be able to complete this table without any problem. Magazam tega, don't pass minute to complete the table. चला संगा वन बाय वन टू इज टू जीएलबी इन दिस केस सेकंड केस यस इज टू मिनिमम 
No sir. No sir. Is five LUB? Is five maximum? Yes sir. Is five LUB? Yes. Is five maximum? No. Two. LUB is five. GLB is two. Minimum maximum. Sir. Ah. Huh. सर त्या सेकंड मध्ये आपण डॅश च्या ऐवजी 2 प्लस ने का लिहू शकत नाही तुम्हाला विचारले टेल मी व्हॉट इज मिनिमम 2 प्लस इज नॉट द नंबर ना यू आर सपोज टू टेल मी द नंबर व्हिच इज मिनिमम ऑफ 2 सेकंड हां तो नाही लिहू शकत नाही का चालणार म्हणजे नाही चालणार आपण 2 प्लस आहे नंबर नाही ना 2 प्लस मायनस 2 प्लस मायनस 1 प्लस उत्तर किती टू प्लस है अपना दूसरा अपना वी आर कमिंग फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड दैट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ़ टू प्लस यू आर कमिंग फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ़ टू कंसीडरिंग राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ़ टू दैट इज़ टू प्लस बट टू प्लस इज़ टू प्लस इज़ नॉट द रियल नंबर ओके यू हैव क्लोज्ड इंटरवल एलयूबी इतना आएगा फिफ्थ But it is bounded below. Two plus. No, no. You have GLB two, but minimum is absent. Not bounded below, but bounded up. For you, not, not, no. GLB one nine. GLB one nine. Is everything clear to everybody? that is very important okay next exercise is i am giving you the domain as you should not say remove two from this real number or remove zero from this real number not acceptable all values of x are available in the domain that is was the condition you are supposed to search or find out the function and report it y is equal to x y is equal to x square something like that using standard functions that you know such that the function that you will report here whose domain is r will have lub maximum glb minimum problem number 2 problem number 2 is same Problem number two: You need to consider domain as real numbers. Search for functions such that it does not have LUB, does not have maximum, has GLB, has minimum. Akshay, yatha tum chhan. You start searching for those functions which satisfy this requirement. Then next, tick tick cross cross. Next, one two three one two four three four tick cross tick cross. Fine. Tick tick tick. Cross. Six. Sorry. Tick. Seven. Cross, 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 cross. Eight. Tick. Cross, cross, cross. Question nine. Cross, cross. Tick. Cross. 
Santos. Okay, every time your domain is real numbers. You are supposed to get me one or two functions which will satisfy these requirements of LUB, GLB, minimum, maximum. I give you five, ten minutes. Search for functions. LUB, you have maximum, you have GLB and you have minimum. Y is equal to? Sin X and cos X. Sin X. Cos X. सिग्नम फंक्शन सिग्नम फंक्शन पॉइंट चले कांस्टेंट फंक्शन y is equal to k we also give you everything second you have glb you have minimum but no lub no maximum y is equal to x y is equal to x sir mod x y is equal to mod x sir mod cos x mod cos x x sorry hmm. very good tisra lub ahe na x ahe glb minimum nahi minus minus mod x minus mod cos x okay fourth lb glbs max no available minimum not available the tan inverse x sir good hmm. any other Sir, one upon one plus e raised to minus x. One upon one plus e raised to minus x. Uh, what is the nature of this? Sir, actually, is a uh, it's called a sigmoid function, and it's bounded between zero and one, I think. But it actually is asymptotic to both. We will find out how to. we will see how to draw graph of that but that is fine one is okay we will cross check this fractional part of x when x is not integer and is equal to 0.5 when x is integer pradeep uh, sang y is equal to uh, fractional part of x x not integer hmm 0.5 when integer मग कसं येणार ग्राफ त्याच आपला इथे डार्क सर्कल असतो त्याच्याऐवजी इथे तो पॉइंट पाहिला जाणार डार्क सर्कल इथे ऑलो सर्कल आणि इथे इथे ऑलो सर्कल बरोबर गुड मग इथे डार्क सर्कल इथे ऑलो सर्कल डार्क सर्कल असंच ना सर So it has got GLB and LUB, but not max and minimum. Very good. Fractional is equal to fractional part of x. If x does not belong to z, is equal to zero point five. If x belongs to z. Okay. Now. what we will avoid doing here is we will try to array cosec x wali the functions are are they defined for all values of x shlok 
is cosec x defined for all values of x? नहीं मग कसं चालेल डोमेन आर आहे तू काही काही जण काढून टाकलेस त्यातले मी सगळ्यांचं लक्ष नाहीये त्यामुळे आय वुड लाईक टू हॅव दोज फंक्शन कंटिन्युअस अँड इफ दे आर सपोज टू बी कंटिन्युअस देन वी हॅव टू रिमूव्ह दिस ऑल्सो बट बिकॉज आय हॅव नॉट सेड इट इन दर प्लेस मे बी वी कॅन किप इट फॉर अ वाईट नो प्रॉब्लेम पुढे मायनस ऑफ मॉड ऑफ टेन इनवर्स मायनस ऑफ मॉड ऑफ टेन इनवर्स अजून x to the power minus 2 x to the power minus 2 i want to find x square x is okay. equal to 0 la kay karaycha sir uh, x equal to 0 la apan tacha define karu shakto for example 1 upon 4 okay but they are continuous nahi ana ata aplyala continuous jam pahije sir or we can just write 1 upon 1 plus x square that makes it continuous yes so 1 upon 1 plus x square is okay One upon one plus mod x is also okay. Hello, is that fine? Uh, sixth, sixth is LUB is there. Maximum is not there. GLB is there. Minimum is there. Hello. The mod of tan inverse. Now this is, I mean, opposite of this, na? So everywhere you. Remove negative sign, so this is tan inverse x mod of tan inverse x minus one upon one plus x square minus one upon one plus mod x. This will give you the job. Seven. Nothing. X cube. Y is equal to x cube, or y is equal to x, or y is equal to x raised to y. Don't they? Eight. It has L U B, no maximum, G L no G L B, no minimum. The ln of x. Ln of minus one by x. Ln of x is going to be like this. First of all, it is not defined for negative values of x. Therefore, ln of x is not correct. Sir, f of x is minus mod of x. Uh, when x is not equal to zero. Continuous and continuous. Continuous. Hmm. Sir, y is equal to minus one by x. Minus one by x. At x is equal to zero, लगाए करें चलो. Minus two raised to x. Two raised to x is like this. Minus two raised to x will be like. this correct it will have lub list upper bound but no maximum no glb no minimum minus 2x baka samajhte hai ka this is negative of this therefore 2 to x samajhte hai good Okay, now let me check if I can copy paste this so that I reduce my work and increase yours. Okay, next problem is your interval instead of real number, the domain instead of real number you have open interval. Like say two comma three, whatever you want to choose, you can choose, and then write corresponding functions, couple of them at least. so that they have these proper these nine properties okay i wait for 10 15 minutes hmm now you are supposed to tell me the open interval and the function bolo
फर्स्ट वन सर कॉन्स्टेंट फंक्शन बिटवीन टू एंड थ्री ओपन इंटरवल टू एंड थ्री कॉन्स्टेंट फंक्शन के सर कॉस एक्स बिटवीन एनी इंटरवल आई ने एक्स कॉस एक्स whose interval is little bigger so that they attain their minimum maximum etc similarly okay so i'll have to keep changing the domain so i will write only one function and correspondingly sin cos every do you understand what i'm trying to say is you have sin wave like this and you want to okay one sin wave is 0 to 2 pi i mean even if you make them hollow circles that is fine ओपन इंटरवल जीरो टू टू पाई साइन एक्स इज फाइव ठीक है सो यू गेट साइन एक्स आई विल राइट करस्पॉन्डिंग डोमेन करेक्शन यू हैव टू डू सेकंड यू नीड जी एल बी एड मिनिम नॉट एल यू बी मैक्सिम सर फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई वाई इक्वल टू को जीरो टू पाई वाई इज इक्वल टू को Cosec x. Let me check. This is sine zero to pi sine, and this is cosec. Okay, it has got minimum one GLB one maximum not available. Correct. Zero to pi cosec. हाँ एनी अदर एनी अदर फंक्शन फॉर टू माइनस फाइव बाई टू टू प्लस फाइव बाई टू वाई टू इन टू सेक एक्स सिमिलर माइनस फाइव बाई टू टू प्लस फाइव बाई टू वाई इक्वल टू सेक एक्स सेक एक्स सेम अंदर एनी अदर Pranav, what is your function? Sir, mine is exactly the first one that Sakshi told you. Okay, cosec x. Take. Sir, how will mod tan x work? Mod tan x. Sir, but mod tan x will not be continuous at x equal to zero, right? No, no. You decide mod tan x. Domain you decide. Sir, so can we have union of two open interval domains? No, no. Ek hi chahiye. This is tan x, and if suppose you take domain zero two pi by two, then at zero you will have problem. Okay. No. Then minus pi by two to plus pi by two mod tan x, na? So it will be like this. Yes or no? Minus pi by two to pi by two mod tan x. Graph will be like this, and you have GLB at minimum, no maximums. Are you familiar? Okay. Next. Sir. Yes. Bola. Sir, but it will not be continuous at x equal to zero. There will be a sharp turn, right? But continuity is there. Differentiability will be problem. Continuity will be achieved. Sharp turn like this. There will be corner there. That is fine. But continuity is not under question. Continuity is there. Differentiability will be problem. But we are studying continuous properties of continuous function. So this will go. Oh, sir. Yes. Sir, I have written y is equal to log a uh, greatest integer of x. Where log y is equal to log a a. Sir, a is a constant. Uh -huh. Sir, no log a log Up to the base a. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, greatest integer of x. Greatest integer of x. Any interval. Uh, x belongs to open interval zero comma two. Open interval zero comma two. But will it be continuous? Greatest integer is not continuous in this. Hey na? Will it be continuous? 
and another thing is if you have values between 0 to 1 of x opposite to log you will end up having 0 right that is problem log 0 is not defined so maybe this interval is not correct but if you take suppose say 1 to 2 then this will be 1 and between this but i think there will be jump and if jump is not allowed because continuity is required so may not be good idea to use log function rajwardhan samaste ka yes sir okay so mod tan x here opposite of mod tan x or maybe minus of cosec x so these two are easy i mean one is positive another is negative okay tell me fourth you have lub and glb but not maximum minimum simple Sir, x between 20 y is equal to x between any two y is equal to x 1 to 2 y is equal to x you have lub1 uh, lub2 glb1 but you really do not achieve the maximum minimum yes good next fifth you have these three lub maximum glb but not minimum sir so y is equal to minus x square between minus 1 to 1 correct minus x square between minus 1 to 1 correct then this will be x square so x square between minus to 1 to 1. 1 correct you don't have anything so tan x between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 tan x you don't have anything it goes from minus infinity to plus infinity eighth you don't have max glb and minimum but only a new sir tan x between minus pi by 2 and 0 minus pi by 2 and 0 so these are dotted and you have a hollow circle here that makes it lub 0 but not really maximum glb minimum correct Ninth, the tan x between zero and pi by two. अरे सगाई ना समझ लेगा ये गेम का एक हेल्पर. No sir. Very good. अतः तो मतलब सगाई तो उगड़ गेम देना नहीं क्या है ना. Now only change is instead of open interval, you consider this as closed interval. Okay, uh, I will copy paste, but you start working on it. Instead of open interval, you have closed interval, both sides. Closed interval A comma B. So give, sorry, give an example of domain and then followed by function which will have these nine properties. Start searching the functions. Start recording. Okay. Only function that you can give is for the first 0 to 2 pi closed interval sin x has LUB maximum, GLB minimum. But for the rest, you struggle to get the function. And why it happens? is because let us see you have closed interval therefore this is there and this is there you have continuous function so you should start somewhere suppose you start here that means available yes and now you have a continuous function, you go whatever way you want, you go, you go, you go, you cannot have any discontinuity and in the end you have to have a dark circle. So intuitively you are bound to achieve maximum, minimum, 
if there is a glb there will be minimum if there is lub there will be maximum it is not going to happen that it is becoming asymptotic somewhere in between because of the closed ness of the interval it is going to happen if i allow you the discontinuity then maybe yes it is doable but discontinuity is not allowed it has to be a continuous function so you cannot make it asymptotic anywhere because it is continuous it should start it should end and it should be continuous so maybe the theorem that we are going to write because of this is let f be defined from a to b over r if one f is continuous over a comma b second f is bounded uh maybe the theorem is if f is continuous over a comma b first theorem will be then it is bounded and maybe theorem after that could be if f is continuous over a comma b it is bounded then it attains its bounds then it attains its bounds so two parts but the final theorem will be <coughs> if f is continuous over a comma b if f is bounded then it attains its bounds then f attains its bounds okay we will discuss we will have to create few theorems to prove this theorem eventually which we will do in the next lecture but let me show you a method mechanism by which you can generate your new functions now in this second table that you have created you went i mean this is a first table okay the second table that you had created which i have erased you went on searching all over again all the functions okay instead of that you can always do the composition now say for example we have done our first table first table is done and let us take example of 3 in the first table let us consider example 3 example 3 says f is from real numbers Two real numbers, and it is f of x is equal to minus x square. And what are the properties of this function that we u b? Yes, maximum. Yes, uh, this is property three. A g l b minimum? No. That is what we. already got one function with us now in three of second table i have asked you to have open interval now three dash let us say second table function should be from a comma b to r and final properties of the function exactly same okay so now if i could search a function if i could search a function which will take me from open interval to r say for example minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 open interval and it will take all the values 
real numbers. Can we have a name of the function which is defined from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 and it attains all real numbers? So f of x is equal to tan x. f of x is equal to tan x will attain all the values, real numbers, between if your x value is between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2, correct? So now what I would like to do is do the composition. Okay, uh, clear, delete. Okay, so what I am doing now here is check whether you understand. First thing I do, this is minus pi by 2, pi by 2, domain. I do it 10x. Second is r. Okay, from R to third is R. We have got the function minus x square. Okay, so now if I do composition of these two functions, will I get from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 to R? Yes. Will I get it? Yes. So what is going to be the composition function? You are taking tan x here and then minus x square. So y is equal to minus tan x bracket square is the function which will be defined from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and which will take you to real numbers, composition function. Are samastega. So if you have only one function with you that is tan x which is from open interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 which goes to r, all these earlier table number one functions can be used as a second function here in the composition to create the table number two which was meant for open interval. Can you tell me a trick by which, suppose I want to change open, but, but suppose instead of minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2, suppose I say the closed interval, the sorry, the interval that I am giving you, give me a function which has property number 3, so property number 3, it should be from open interval say 1 to 2 to r. It should not be from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. It should be from 1 to 2 to r. Can you give me a function whose properties are like this? Correct, right? Now I am not allowing you to take any open interval. I am asking you to take open interval from 1 to 2 and get me the function which will have a UB and maximum, not GLB and minimum. Now basically what you want is a function which is from 1 to 2 going to R and having the properties of third row. So our diagram is like this. 1 to 2 open interval. Then, do we know a function which goes from pi by 2 to pi by 2 minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2? Yes, we have found out just now. Maybe from here to R, we know. So, this was minus 10 square x. That is what is earlier composition which we have done. Now can we write a function here which will take all values from open interval 1 to 2 to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. So there could be many different ways of doing it. So this is say 1 hollow circle. This is say 2 hollow circle. And this is say minus pi by 2 hollow circle. 
and this is plus phi by two. Follow circle. So you have value. Your graph starts from here and finishes here. Open it. And the simplest graph that you can have is straight line. Is that right? So what is this point? This point is one comma minus pi by two. This point is one comma by two comma plus pi by two. So the equation of this line is y is equal to pi x minus three pi by two. That is what is the equation of this line. So if you define function from one open interval one to two. Pi x minus three pi by two. All the x values between one to two will be taken between minus pi by two to minus plus pi by two. What will happen here? From all the values from minus pi by two to plus pi by two will be taken to real numbers. And what is this property going to be? I mean, this function will have the property of LUB max available, GLB mean not available, right? So you have already found out this function. Now you have to just correct the domain, change the domain of consideration. So you write the function. So composition of this is going to be y is equal to put this value of x. What have I written here? Pi of x. Put the value of this into this. That is minus uh, sorry minus tan inverse sorry minus tan square of what pi x minus three pi by two minus tan square of pi x minus three pi by two is the function which is defined from one to two. Open interval, and we'll have values going to real numbers such that L U B and max, yes, G L B and min. Okay, so basically, if you search functions for the first table, you should be able to complete it for second. And if I would have asked you to. Correct the domain of all of them to be open interval one comma two. You should get the third. But with this trick, you will not still get the functions which will contradict this theorem because if a function is continuous, if it is bounded, then it is supposed to attain the bounds in that interval. That is going to be true. So write down whatever I have said. How do you adjust? How do you correct? The domain. How do you change the domain of the function by using composition function? This idea is very very good. It might be useful to you in solving some problems eventually. Okay, so just copy this, and we are done with the lecture today. Excuse me, sir. Yes. So, so why is it necessary that uh, the uh, the the middle oval should be? Like all of the values should be available for in that interval minus pi by two to pi by two. Why? So why is that necessary that uh, all of the uh, like the range should be equal to the codomain? Ah, uh, then we are safe. I mean, if you have suppose, if you have, I mean, in case of fabricating a function like this, it will be safe. If your middle one is minus pi by two to plus pi by two, because you have already developed a function from here to here. If it is suppose minus pi to pi, then also it will work. But then, uh, yes, I mean minus pi to pi also it will work eventually. Sir, so if it is a subset of minus pi by two to pi by two, yes. like. Uh, Like say zero to pi by two. If we have a function which goes to zero to pi by two, and then zero to pi by two, uh, it goes to the other function. No, I, what I am trying to say, uh, uh, if I have understood your question correctly, suppose there were some excess elements in this. That is what you were asking, right? 
here. Yes, sir. From where ten minus ten inverse x goes to r, right? But then in that case, suppose this is your minus pi to pi, will it serve our purpose? Suppose this is this, then what will happen is um, our composition. If the composition is using this graph, then composition will take values of only those points between minus pi by two to plus pi by two to the images required images. If your this function is only taken care of minus pi by two to plus pi by two as a range, then this excess. Elements in this set will not be composed. Will not be involved in composition. Yes, sir. Will be involved in composition. You will not. Suppose you have value three pi by two here, three pi by two, and then or maybe three pi by uh, three pi by little more bigger than minus pi by two or plus pi by two. Then its image will be there here, but will not be attained by this. Understood? Suppose x is equal to three pi by two minus ten inverse three pi by two. I think three pi by two is not defined. So you take minus three pi by four, for example. Then minus three pi by four is there in the domain. Suppose. Its image will be there in this codomain, but that image will not be attained when you are doing this composition one to two followed by minus ten inverse x. And therefore, it is safe to do the composition uh, where the range is equal to codomain. I mean, you are not missing out anything. You are taking care of every image under first function, and then image of those images under second function this is a trick to create so we are so we are avoiding the risk of uh, like not getting a particular yes. image finally which yes. can uh, alter our condition yes we don't want to uh, uh, again really see the images here He, this this work which we have done we can do blindly because we are sure from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 Minus 10 square x will take us to the images where these properties are going to be there. Yes, sir. But if we include some more elements, we may not be sure about these properties. It might violate the conditions that are required, and therefore we keep it range is equal to codomain. We are not allowing anybody else to enter the composition. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. That is where we have stopped. Sir. Hola. 